Now, I would like you to join me on a walk down the largest of the pieces that we have here in the exhibition Opimaha. This is called Tapestry 2, To Build a Better Lodge. I think that we can see here with this blue taffeta, and again, beaver sticks sourced from Mary Ann's property. Um, this is a pooling of water. And so we're kind of going in reverse order, um, upstream, if you will. Um, this is more than 76 feet of, of taffeta that makes up this, this piece. And this is a work that's going to continue to evolve. That's why the fabric is so long, because as we get here, as the water starts to slow down at its source, we see these patches that she's added. And she's going to continue to add these patches as she goes. When she came and visited us here, as we were installing this exhibition in January, she brought with her these cyanotype patches of the Selkirk Treaty and Treaty 2 and associated documents because this piece is going to respond to the land that it gets exhibited on as it moves around, as it lives its life. Previously, there are other treaties. So we have Treaty 4 and Treaty 6, um, it, as well as moments in pop culture. So we have treaties, we have official documents that she got from the Barkhouse sourced from Archives Canada, um, which is a, a whole performance piece in itself to hear her talk about it, especially during COVID when there's nobody actually in the archives to fetch these documents. It can be a really long process. You might notice that there's no Treaty 1 um, because they couldn't get that scan out to her. But what she also has here is patches that represent moments in pop culture and activism that occurred during her life. So here we have Justice for Joyce, which is just from a few years ago. Uh, uh, Joyce was mistreated in hospital in, in Quebec and, and started a, a um, big series of protests there. Um, we have Sashin Little Feather, who re accepted or rejected the Oscar on behalf of Marlon Brando um, in order to make a statement about the depiction of um, First Nations people in Hollywood. We have a uh, photograph of the Oka Crisis, which features on the right an acquaintance of, of Mary Ann's, who um, has, has remained in her life. So things like this, and you'll notice that it's not chronological. Historically, it's chronological to the artist's experience of these things. Right? So the, these pop culture events, these protests happened within her lifetime, but the interaction with the treaties happens at a different pace than these things. And the overall messaging of the piece, if we start here with, uh, with the waterfall, and then a smooth and quick river. The idea is about the momentum of these things building on each other. In this installation and in the installation at Wanaskewin, there's also a sound element to this piece, which was recorded on site at Wanaskewin. Um, and it's the, the song of the Sound of Birds in the Summer. And that was recorded in 2022 by the staff there.